Hey guys, welcome to Edit Tutorials and in this video, we'll be looking at how to add transitions in shortcut video editing software. So there are essentially two ways in which you can add transitions. The first is the default method in which the software automatically adds a transition for you and you can make few changes here and there. And the second is through modifying video effects. So I'll be teaching you guys both the methods today. So let's jump right into it. So the first step is I'll be importing two videos onto my timeline. So as you can see, this is my first video and it cuts somewhere here and makes way for the second video. So the first and the easy method of adding transitions is by clicking on the second video here. You click on the second video and drag it onto the first video. So when you drag the second video onto the first video, you get this sort of X, right? You get this sort of intersection and it sort of now becomes its own video. So if, you, if I click on the second video here, you can see that these two are their own videos and this sort of becomes its own independent video. So now if I just click on space, you can notice here that the software has sort of created this dissolve transition for me. So by default, the software would have added this transition and it looks better, right? It looks better than just a normal cut. It adds more depth. But let's say you don't want the dissolved transition and you want something else. So what you can do is click on this uh, intersection, click on this video here, come to properties and click on this drop down menu, right? So here you can see a lot of transitions, right? You can select any transition you want and the software applies that transition for you. Let's say I go with diagonal top right. So let's see what this transition looks like. So basically, the first video makes way for the second video by, you know, swiping through the top right. And it's a nice transition, right? Uh, it's great. It it looks better than just a cut if you're going for something creative. But if you think this is too much for you or if you think you want a simpler transition, what you can do is come back here and go to bar horizontal. So I actually like this transition better than all the other transitions in the drop down menu because as you can see, it's just one swipe from left to right. It's not too fancy and at the same time, it's not very simple either. It actually looks pretty good. So I actually love this transition and I use it quite often in some of my videos. Another favorite of mine is Dissolve and we already saw what Dissolve looks like. That's the default transition that the software provides. Now let's say you don't like the dissolved transitions that the software provides, right? Let's say you want to go with something of your own or something more sophisticated, right? What you can do then is create your own transitions on shortcut. So this actually is more time consuming, but trust me, the end result will look a lot more professional. Now to undo all these uh, uh, transitions that I've made, what I'm going to do is simply click on Control Z. So that's the shortcut key for undo in a shortcut. So it essentially removes all the transition that I had applied. So now how do we add custom transitions? So to add custom transitions, we are first going to deal with video effects, right? So to add a video effect, what we're going to do is click on the video here. Let's say we click on the first video, come to filters, 
here and click on plus. So let me first show you guys a blur out and blur in transition or simply a blur transition. So what you have to do is click on the first video, come to video here and go to Gaussian blur. All right, just type G A U S and Gaussian blur should appear on its own. So you can see that this video became a little bit blurred when I applied and that is because this effect applies to the whole video, right? It doesn't just apply to one part, but it applies to the whole video because it is a video effect. Now, how do we convert this video effect into a transition? So what we have to do is again, come here and click on this alarm clock button, right? So just click on it and this window appears. Now, again, we were in timeline and now we are in keyframes. So if we come back to timeline, you see both the videos. So we come to keyframe, you just see one video here. So when I come to top right corner, you see this blinking dot. Now in the previous videos, I'd explained that these are keyframes and you can use them to animate your video. So what you have to do is go to the top right, click on that blinking dot and move it leftwards, right? So now what the software does is that as you move towards the end of the video, the blur increases. You can notice here that when I move the cursor, the blur increases towards the end of the video. So I'm actually happy with what the software has done. It's, in, it's at 50. But here, I do not want 20% or 20 units, whatever you want to call it. I don't want that much of blur, right? So what I'm going to do is decrease the amount all the way to zero. So you can see that the blur here is gone. But as you move forward, the video becomes very blurry. So blur transition has been applied to the first video. Now, I also now need to apply this transition to the second video as well. So the process is similar. Just click on the second video and I'm already in filters again. So just click on plus. It's already in videos and type Gaussian. So if I just type GAU, Gaussian blur appears by itself. So you just click on it. And now it's applied to this whole video as well. So again, I don't want this for the whole video. So I click on the alarm clock button here. And in this video, remember, I'll be pulling the top left keyframe rightwards because I want the transition to appear at the beginning of the second video. Right. And again, as you can see, the transition is 50 at the beginning and it decreases as you move forward. Again, at this point, I don't want any blur, any amount of blur. So I decrease that to zero. So if you come back to timeline now and play, play the whole video, you get this sort of nice blur transition. So I hope you guys saw that transition. It sort of blurred out and, uh, you know, the first video sort of blurred out and the second video sort of blurred in. So this is how you create custom transitions. So now let me actually show you guys another great transition. That is the glitch transition, which you guys might have seen in many uh, videos. It's actually a very cool transition. So to apply glitch transition, we first need to remove the Gaussian blur, right? So we need to remove this video effect. So what I have to do is to remove the effect, just click on the video that the effect is applied and click on minus. So once I apply that, once I click on minus, the effect vanishes. So the same thing for the second video as well. And there you go. We have just two videos now with the simple cut. Now to apply the glitch transition, you need to perform the same uh, steps, right? We're already in filters, go to plus and click on glitch. 
Now, I select glitch and once again, remember that glitch is a video effect. It's not a transition by itself. So you get it for the whole video. Now, I obviously don't want this. So I'll come here and click on this alarm clock. Don't worry about the rest. You know, you can change them if you want to, but don't worry about them as of now. Just come here and click on the alarm clock that's on frequency, right? Just click on it and you, you are redirected to keyframes again. So again, you just need to select this button on the top right and drag it leftwards. Interestingly, what happens when I do this is that unlike the previous effect, this effect, the glitch effect, is applied to the entire video except after the keyframe is applied. You can see here in frequency that the amount is actually decreasing after the keyframe. So this is exactly opposite to what I want. So what I'll do is I'll bring the cursor here to the very end and drag this all the way to 50. That should do 50.350. And I'll drag the cursor here to where the keyframe is placed and drag the frequency all the way to zero. So you can see now that I've sort of reversed the original effect. There is no glitch towards the video, but as we move towards the end, there's a glitch. So this transition looks good by itself. You know, the first video glitches out and makes way for the second video. But if you want a more complete look, you can add this effect to the second video as well. It's just the same procedure. Click on the second video. Go to plus. Type glitch. And now glitch is applied to the entire video. But we don't want that. So click on the alarm button on the frequency. And move this keyframe rightwards not too much there but again the same problem here as well the glitches have not, not applied to the part where i want it to but it's applied to the rest of the video it's the same procedure just come back to where the keyframe is dial it all the way to zero come here to the first frame dial it all the way to 50 and there you go now, if I just play the video, you'll see that the transition has been applied. So let me just play the video for you guys. There you go. That was the glitch transition. It's a pretty cool transition and you can play around with body height, shift intensity, color intensity and whatnot. And I'm sure you can, you know, turn this into a better transition than what I've shown you guys. Um, you can also experiment with other filters as well. You know, you get n number of filters here. Some are for audio, so, you know, that might not be as helpful. But uh, you have video effects as well, and you can use some of them for transitions too. So this is it. This was the tutorial on transitions. And if you guys have any doubt or uh, if you guys have any problems, just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to uh, reply. If you guys like the video, do consider subscribing and sharing it with people who can benefit from it. So that's it from my end, guys. I hope you experiment more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.